Welcome everybody. This video is going to be on a test drive on Kia Sonic GT Line IMT turbo engine and here we get started. IMT really means intelligent manual con transmission and in this there's no clutch. Everything else is normal. We were actually testing out the audio system which was actually pretty good to listen to and the audio quality was also really good. Rear seat, there is an armrest with two cup holders and two rear headrests which are adjustable. The uh, straight seats are also leather wrapped which uh, gives a very premium look and feel to the car cabin. Here are the driver's side controls. One of them controls the OR beams outside and one, the others control the windows. The driver's side window is one touch and that meaning if you touch it once, the driver's side window will open fully and close fully as well. As you can see, this is the rear seat. It contains one, two children and one adult, but it can easily support three adults. In the back, there is a, a air purifier, two AC vents, a USB port and a phone holder. The legroom is pretty decent in both of the sides and there is a mild bump in the middle. However, it's not that big. And there's two pockets, one on each side, and there's an extra pocket on the passenger side or to the left, which is for a phone. This test drive was very uh, smooth and relaxing for both the passenger and the driver and I think it's a really good car to drive. In the front there is a, a 10 inch touch screen display and there's a 4 AC ones at the front and there's also auto AC but there's also manual buttons to control them. There is also a sunroof that gives a very airy experience to the cabin. To the left, right side of the drivers, there is a cruise control which can only work above the speed of 40. And on to the left side, there is audio system controls to controlling the audio system, obviously. There are some additional features on top of the ceiling of the car. There are two drivers, side, uh, drivers uh, cabin lights and there is a sunglasses holder as well as a sun, sunroof controls on the ceiling and there is a glove box but it's not cooled and there's an armrest where the driver is seated the armrest uh, has a storage inside here we're going to be testing out the backside camera to see how the camera quality is for the reverse parking the reverse camera had some adapted guidelines showing in the display there were two sensors at the front and two sensors at the back the two sensors at the front are only available in gt line in the back there is also a cabin light and in the uh, back um, window there is a defogger and a rear wiper and i think the boot space is about 390 something liters so it's a pretty a big boot space in the irvm in the uh, gt line is auto dimming whereas in the other variants it's not auto dimming it's actually manual you have to flip it to actually uh, dim the lights the touch response on the display was actually also good as you can see in the video and something else that the seats are also ventilated but that's only in gt line something i forgot to mention was that this is a 2020 version that's why the kia logo on the steering wheel is old not new